What's up guys, AC Car Shark back again. Uh, back with another eBay unboxings video. Now you may you may notice that I've got the same Phillies hat and shirt on as I did on Flea Market Sundays episode 10 as well as the last segment of, of the recent pickups video. That's because I'm recording them all on the same day. Um, literally stopping the tape, restarting it, and filming another episode. But uh, right now, at least for this segment, I'm gonna have a couple segments in this video. Uh, today I've got, I've got two, I've got a big box here and an envelope here, uh, two eBay unboxings that came in the mail. I do have a couple more coming, so that will be a second segment in this video. So we're just gonna try to hurry it along so I can kind of fit it all together. Um, the first thing up is the box, and it was something I had purchased off of eBay for the game room. Uh, not a game per se, but just something to hang up on the wall and see if I can get it open without too much of a problem. All right, so you open it up here. I've got some newspaper. Take it out of the box here, and it's all wrapped in newspaper, which is awesome. Nice, nice to know that you know they wrapped it well. Um, this is this is pretty cool. Um, you can tell that the person uh, custom made it themselves, but you know it's really, really awesome. Um, the one thing I always notice is that I come down to the game room and bust out some NES, and I'd be down here for hours and not even realize it. I have no clock down here. So I started looking up like different clocks and everything else. And you can tell that this person like bought the clock and then made the custom background. But I think that's really, really cool. Um, but I wanted a game, like a theme to it, like a game theme to it to have it, have it be in the game room. Uh, so what I found was actually a Nintendo clock. And if you notice, it's all old school. So you've got the Nintendo uh, logo right there with the NES control deck, the zapper and the control pad. And then at 12 o'clock you have Samus, and at 9 o'clock you have Link from Zelda 2. You've got Mario at 3 o'clock, and you've got Mega Man at 6 o'clock. So I figure, you know, just a, a standard, like, AA battery, and uh, it'd be a really cool clock to hang up uh, above, you know, my Nintendo collection or something. Um, because as you guys know, I'm all about the Nintendo 8-bit era, that's like my, my favorite. So I figured, why not get an, an old 8-bit clock? You know, brand new clock, but, you know, at least I can have the, the time down here. So I thought that was really, really cool. I picked that up. I believe it was only like $8 on eBay. Um, if you guys want the information, I can get you the seller's name. They have a bunch of other uh, retro game uh, clocks like that. Uh, they had a Pac-Man, a Miss Pac-Man. They had, um, I believe, like a Contra clock. They had a whole bunch of different ones. But for 8 bucks and then plus shipping, it was like 15 or 14 or something like that. You really can't go wrong for a custom-made clock. So that's, that's pretty cool for the game room. And then going on to the envelope here, uh, hopefully I can get into this. It looks like it may be a little bit of a problem. But eh, not too bad. But uh, this this is actually a game I picked up. Um, this game I have been looking for for about two months. Um, it is a little bit more on the rare side, and I was able to find it with no problem. But because of the fact that it's rare, uh, the price was always a little too high for what I wanted to pay. So I basically uh, can't find any scissors around here, huh? Um, let's see if I can just rip this open. Ugh. They taped it really well. But uh, there we go. Um, the price was always a little bit too high. And um, if you guys know on eBay, uh, through purchasing, you actually get eBay bucks. And I saved up my eBay bucks. I had like 12 something on eBay bucks. And I was able to get this game basically out of pocket for $16. Uh, normally it goes for anywhere between like 40 and 50. So for $16 out of my pocket, it was not too bad. Uh, but that game is called The Jetsons. And it is uh, Cogswell's Caper. For the, for the NES and this game I've just been like jonesing to get I mean if you look at the spine there I don't know if it's gonna focus on that but uh, the, but the Jetsons Cogswell's caper um, not ultra rare but rare enough where it goes for some money and I was able to pick it up uh, the ending bid was twenty eight dollars but because I had those eBay bucks it only cost me sixteen so uh, for sixteen bucks for a game that normally goes for thirty nine forty you know fifty dollars is not too bad at all so. Um, so basically this, this game is, you know, one I've been looking for for a while. So I was able to pick that up. So we're going to cut to the next segment and then end off the video from there. All right, guys, welcome to the next segment of eBay unboxings. Uh, as you saw, I've already unboxed the clock for the game room as well as the Jetsons, uh, Cogswell's caper. Uh, another one came in the mail as actually yesterday, but, uh, I, I didn't have a chance to record till until now. So uh, just just one for today. Again, there'll probably be another segment coming, um, maybe within the next couple of days. There should be another package coming that will probably wrap up this this episode of eBay unboxings. But um, yeah, I'm just gonna bust open this this package here. Um, the only you know the only it, it is another NES game, and um, 
because of the price I got it for, I didn't really care about the uh, the fact that it does have like a major Blockbuster sticker on it. Uh, but the fact is, it's it's not really. Uh, I'll cover this up, this part up, but um, it's not really touching the label, so I could probably get that off without a problem. But uh, this is a game I've never seen anywhere out in the wild. I've never seen it even at Video Bonanza. I've never seen it anywhere other than eBay. Um, I was able to pick it up for, I believe I got it for like, I think it was like six or seven dollars. And But I've never seen it around. But I, I believe it's called Toki. And uh, it's actually supposed to be like a really fun game. Um, it's put out by Taito. And uh, it's supposed to be like some kind of like, like adventure game with like this monkey dude. I've never heard of it before. Um, I don't know if it's I don't know if it's rare. It, it can't be that common because I don't see it everywhere. But uh, here, look at the spine there. There you go, Toki. And um, it is an NES game, obviously, and it is one I need for my collection. Um, I had found it. I was buying from a seller, which I haven't gotten that package yet. That's one that's coming. And he had this game, and I figured I'd combine shipping and everything. And um, but he was charging. I think I go buy it now for ten bucks. So I was like, well, let me see if that's a good deal, because I would never heard of it. I don't know how much it goes for. So I started looking around, and I ended up finding this one for cheaper. And it's probably probably because of the fact it has that sticker on there. Um, but like I said, um, Blockbuster actually actually thought about it and didn't and made you know made sure it didn't actually go onto the label. So I should be able to take some goo gone and uh, get that off without a problem because it's, it's literally only on the cartridge. So uh, just the one unboxing for today on this segment, uh, and that is Toki for the NES. Once again, I'll show you a little bit more of a close-up. So Toki for the NES, that's today's pickup. Going to cut again and uh, going to come back to another segment of possibly at least one package, if not two, and that should wrap up this eBay unboxing video. All right, guys, welcome to the last segment of this eBay unboxings video. Um, this is going to be the last one for this one. Uh, I've got a whole bunch coming in the mail pretty soon in the next week or two, so you'll be looking forward to another eBay unboxing uh, probably in the next week or two. So, um, But I do have one last package here uh, from eBay, so we're going to unpack that and see what I've got going on. As you guys know, I've been, uh, as you can tell from behind me, I've got a whole lot of NES stuff going on. And this is no different. This is a whole, uh, a whole auction full of NES games and a couple of other surprises as well. But uh, the first game that I pulled out, uh, was one of those generic NES games, and that is Golf. And uh, that's just along the lines of soccer and all those, just another game I don't have. Uh, golf for the NES. Uh, let's see what I pull out next here. We have another generic game. Uh, came with a black sleeve. That game is Slalom. Again, just one of those generic titles that I don't have. Uh, the next one up, I've never played before. Uh, label's a little, little chewed up, but uh, I believe it's a light gun show. Uh, like on show, a light gun uh, game, and it's called Barker Bill's Trick Shooting. So, Barker Bill's Trick Shooting, there you go. Um, I don't remember what I paid for all of these, but it wasn't it wasn't a whole a whole lot. I actually got some pretty good deals. Uh, let's see. Uh, next game up that I found was uh, I already have the second one of this series, the first one, and that is Ghostbusters. And it does have a sticker on the back showing that someone paid six bucks for it at GameStop. Um, I didn't. I didn't pay six bucks for it. Uh, it's got some markings and stuff on it, but again, it's in the, the label's in good shape, so I'm not too not too concerned. And then the last NES game I picked up uh, was one that I didn't realize even was out, to be honest with you. And uh, I paid a decent amount for this. It was less than ten bucks, I know, but um, uh, pretty decent amount for this. And uh, it's actually uh, TNC Surf Two, and it's called uh, Thrilla's Safari. Um, never knew this one existed. Um, you know, I saw it on eBay uh, because I actually, I, I believe this is the game I was looking for and I ended up just looking through the guy's store and found this one. I ended up uh, winning winning the bid, which was cool. And uh, so I picked that one up. I, I've never seen that one anywhere. So that's that's kind of neat. And then I, I picked up three N64 games. Uh, the first one up, which I heard was pretty good, is Excite Bike 64. I heard it was a pretty decent game. I got it for like less than five bucks. I want to say it was like three or four, probably about three bucks, I think. Uh, the second one I picked up, uh, it's a player's choice million seller, uh, Star Wars Rogue Squadron. And I got this one for, I believe, uh, 25 cents, I want to say. Um, and if you, if you think that's a great deal, the last game I picked up, absolutely uh, terrible, terrible game. But um, for the price, I couldn't turn it down. That game is Mission Impossible for the N64. And I actually picked this game up for one cent. 
I kid you not, the opening bid was one cent on this game. I, I figured, why not? You know, I was already ordering from the guy. I threw a bid in for a penny and no one ever bid again. It was just, it ended, I got it for a penny. And uh, I think it was like a dollar per extra game shipping. So I got it for a dollar and a penny technically, if you include shipping. But one penny, bad or not, I don't care. I'm throwing that into a collection for a cent. So, uh, but that was that was the pickup on this box, guys. Five NES games, three Nintendo 64 games. That's going to end off this episode of eBay Unboxings. Guys, stay tuned. Uh, the Flea Market Sundays will be continuing next week. Uh, I know I took a week off, um, but, you know, everyone's got to take a vacation sometime. So I took a week off from that, and then... Um, uh, let's see, another eBay unboxing coming probably next week um, once everything starts rolling in the door. So I should be starting to have those rolling soon. So until uh, next time, guys, hope you enjoyed. AC Car Shirt, guys, take care.